Hello guys and welcome to another video. So today we're keeping up with this new format that I've come to really like and you guys also seem to really be enjoying and that is figuring out what my life would be in X universe by wheel. And today the universe that we are promptly diving into is the Grishaverse aka the universe with the Grisha trilogy the Six of Crows duology and the King of Scars duology. So just like a great universe overall. We have so many good characters in here. So many characters whose names I'm going to try to remember for you guys because I'm not very good with names. So uh, I'm just going to do my best to try to remember their names from the picture that I get. So without further ado, I will leave all of the prompts in the description box down below so you guys can play along at home and yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so by now you guys basically know the drill. So you know the first prompt is going to be, who do I meet first? Let's just say that I go to Ketterdam because I think this is where this would be based and I meet the go- <laughs> I, I forgot I put my little goat in there. Okay, so I, I wanted to have like 30 characters to have a round number. And I was like, maybe just add Milo the goat. I, I'm super surprised at myself for even remembering his name. Milo is the person or the thing, the animal. He's the one that I meet first when I walk into Catterdam. And honestly, I could not have asked for a warmer welcome. Thank you, Milo. You are doing God's work. Then we have, who is my first friend? Not the person who is going to be my friend forever, just the person who I become friends with at first. They might betray me later, we will see. And that person is... What? The fact that I just randomly said they might betray me later, and then it's Peck Rollins. You know, it's also lucky that his name is on the picture because... Damn, what a sight he is. Um, so my first friend is Peck Rollins after having met Milo the goat in Ketterdam. So things are going great for me in this universe. Okay, so uh, Pekka Rollins might for some reason be my first friend, but uh, let's see who my best friend actually is after I find some good company in Ketterdam. That is... Oh my god. Why am I in the worst part of the barrel associating with the worst kinds of criminals? Why is Tante Helene my best friend? What does this mean for me? This is the worst possible outcome. So in the Six of Crows and the Grishaverse, there are a lot of good characters, but I also wanted to add bad characters to just like spice things up. And uh, more so in the Six of Crows duology, there's just like six protagonists and then everyone else is horrible. They're all antagonists, basically. So there was a lot of bad people to choose from there. But Tante Helene, let's just say, okay, for, for our head canon that is my life in this universe, let's just say I befriend her to, to take her out from the inside. I'm just saying this to make myself feel better, but um, what a horrible, horrible timeline I'm living in. Okay, so uh, my best friend is Tante Helene and I'm living probably in the barrel. Let's see who my roommate is because I am not able to afford rent for myself. So who is my roommate in the barrel? It's, uh, what is her name? <laughs> I know there's two people in the picture, okay? But it's the blonde one because the other one is Tamar. And um, I like her as well, but there was no, no fan art of the blonde one alone. What is her, Sylvia is coming to mind. Okay, I'll insert her name here because I don't feel like looking it up now. But okay, she is my roommate. Uh, she controls wind from her Kafka, so a uh, pretty good roommate to have. I am pretty content with that answer. Now that we know who my roommate is, let's see um, who, who my first crush is. Now this could go horribly right or horribly wrong. Let's pray it's the first one. Who is my first crush? Oh my god, okay. I am so sorry, I, I put these characters in here. I chose them, I searched for fan art for them, and then I forgot their names. I know this person 
is in the King of Scars duology and I liked her and insert name here. Uh, so I can see why she would be my first crush. Also, she's gorgeous. So um, there's that. So I, I approve. I approve. Not me exposing myself being terrible at names for these games, but okay. And let's see, let's see who hates me. Now that we know who I'm crushing on, let's see who actually hates me. And now it's gonna be a good character. And it's, is that Tolia? I think it is, right? Because he has like the veins, the face. I think that's Tolia, one of the twins, like Tamar's twins. Twin? Um, yeah, so Tolia hates me which means I'm a terrible person because Tolia is incredible. <laughs> but at least I remember his name. I am too proud of that one. Uh, okay, but uh, since we know who I'm crushing on, let's see who was crushing on me when I got to the barrel at the beginning. Calm Fahey was crushing on me. Uh, in case you don't know, Calm Fahey is Jasper's dad. <laughs> So, just, just look at that face. I, I, I don't know why I'm hanging out only with adults in Catterdam, but it is what it is. Okay, who, and this is a very important one, is my significant other? I know that Jesper's dad is crushing on me and that I was crushing on that girl, but who, who am I actually going out with? It's, it's, it's one of the lesbians again. <laughs> I'm going out with my roommate, so we're not just roommates, you know? That That is the trope we're going with. Me and my roommate had a lot of tension built up from living together all those days in the barrel that we just like exploded and we had to get together even though... Oh my god, this is making sense now because this girl is dating Tamar, is dating, uh, they're together officially, and Tamar's brother is Talia who hates me. So Talia hates me because I broke apart his sister's marriage. Oh my god, I love it when these things make sense. Okay, now th this is something I can work with. I, I wouldn't particularly say that I would want to date her. Honestly, I was hoping I would get Soya. But uh, you can't have everything. And let's see who my sibling is. Just to like shake things up. Who is my blood-related sibling? Hopefully no one weird. Okay, so it's Kuei. Um, Kuei is a bit of an asshole, and he has that scene, you know, with the piano. If you know, you know. Oh my god, I hated him for it. It was funny, okay? Don't get me wrong, it was super funny. And it created a great ship moment. But at what cost? At what cost, Kuei? But yeah, I like him. And if he's a Grisha, that means I'm probably Grisha as well in this timeline. Okay, so now that we know who my sibling is, <laughs> let's see who my father figure slash mother figure slash parental figure in general is. If I get Jesper's dad, this is going to get really weird. So let's see who my parental figure is. It's... Oh. <laughs> so I wanted to get cast for some of them. I honestly I want Cass to be the one to kill me. Okay, let's just get that out there. But how is Cass my father figure? How messed up am I that I look up to Cass Brecker, the bastard of the barrel, dirty hands, Cass Brecker. I mean, um, now my hanging out with Pekka Rollins and Tante Helene has been explained. I'm just a pawn that uh, Cass is controlling, which, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll do anything for him. But to have him be my father figure... <laughs> Why couldn't you just be my crush or something, Cass? Okay, if he ever comes up again, please let him be the one that kills me. But uh, with that being said, let's find out who thinks I'm annoying. If we get Cass again, then I will be satisfied. If I get Soya for this, I am going to be so sad, okay? It's... okay. It's Genya, so... Oh wait, no, it's not Genya, it's... Dinyasha uh, La Sareva. So I think this is the girl who's like the white dagger who goes up against Inash in the second book, in Cricket Kingdom. So I, I'm cool with her thinking I'm annoying. I, I think you're annoying, 
Dinyasha, so, or Dunyasha, I can't see that letter. Um, so yeah, at least I've gotten one of the bad guys for one of the prompts they should have gotten, so I'm happy with that one. Okay, so let's go from someone who thinks I'm annoying to someone who thinks I'm the best, who is secretly in love with me. This is the most important prompt. This is going to make me feel either great or bad. And it's, is that Nikolai or is that his brother? I think that's his brother. <laughs> I don't think that's Nikolai. I don't remember what, what fan art I chose for him, but I don't think that's Nikolai. Okay. Editing me. Confirm if that's Nikolai or not. <sighs> I don't think it is. I don't know how to tell them apart. <laughs> I mean, either way, it's um, a prince in love with me. So that's pretty good, right? It's pretty good overall. Obviously, I wish it was Nikolai, but I don't know. Okay, this, is, this was one of my favorites that I came up with for the Harry Potter one, and that is who is my no TP in this universe? Who is a couple? that I absolutely despise in this universe. So let's see the first participant of my no TP. Hopefully it'll be something horrible. And that is uh, the sword, so meaning Mal, okay. <laughs> what if we just got Mal and Alina and that was my no TP? Let's see the other part. Alina, 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 Alina. <gasps> I'm not even making this up. Did you see that? It landed on the one that was next to Alina. I almost made that happen out of sheer will alone. This wheel is playing with me and this is Santa something. Isabella, Isabetta, Santa, Santa Isabetta. So yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up. That is an OTP. I don't ship anyone with this person. No spoilers, but, but I don't ship anyone with her. I don't know if that says anything, but who is my actual real life Soulmate, come on, Soya Nasialinski. Come on, Soya, please, please, please. No. Okay, it almost landed on Jesper's dad again. Also, at least I'm pretty sure this is Nikolai. So, um, so Soya is going to kill me. Uh, let's just say we're platonic soulmates if this is Nikolai, because um, I would never do that to Soya. I would never do that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I am. Um, 100% loyal to Soya Nasjolinski until the day either of us die and um, onward from there. Okay, so um, I like going from love to hate and vice versa. So who is my worst enemy? Let's see. Uh, I haven't gotten any of the crows yet. Ah, uh -huh. so it's Alina now. And I was trying to like put the pieces together but I just said Mal and Santa Elisabetta were my no TP, so why do you hate me? You should agree. So this makes no sense, Alina. Uh, and you look super cute in this fan art, by the way, I love it. Okay, so back to love. Who is my actual OTP? We know my no TP, it was a pretty good no TP, but who is my OTP? Who do I ship? No. Is it going to be death? Is it Pekka Rollins and death? Because I super ship that. Okay, I hope it's someone else who is evil. Come on, evil, 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 no. <sighs> ah! My OTP is Paco Rollins and Jasper Fahey himself. Uh, I would never do that to Jasper. I love him with my whole heart and I would never, never do that. I, I wish... I wish this had turned up for an OTP, but okay, we have two prompts left, so let's keep going. Um, who stabs me in the back? Stabbing Inej, I would allow it, even though I love her and I don't want her to stab me in the back. It's it's this guy. It's um, Cornwall Broom, General Broom, um, you know, the bad guy from Fjorda. Yeah. So I can see that happening. I, I, I can see him stabbing me in the back. I'm pretty chill with that. Okay, he stabbed me in the back, but now who has the absolute honor of killing me? Let's say it's in battle. I want it to be an honorable death. So who kills me? Cass, 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 <gasps> It's Tamar. Yeah, this 
this checks out because I'm roommates with her wife and uh, we are currently dating, so. So yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tamar. I get it. I, I'm completely cool with you killing me. Also, I forgot to do my favorite one. Who cheats on me with Nikolai? Uh, I hope this comes full circle and it's the blonde lesbian, but we'll never know. It's got no. Uh, a lesson learned for me, stop putting so many bad guys in the wheel. Um, okay, so we are done with the wheel for today and I am, I'm so done with it. I am so done with this freaking wheel. This has to be karma because the last video I did with a wheel, it was a Harry Potter video. I don't know if it's out yet, hopefully it is. Um, but in that video, everything went super smoothly. It was the best possible scenario for me, like 85% of the time. And the whole story made so much sense. And now they were like, no, there was too much good for you. So let's, let's tip the balance and make it go back to bad. So that makes sense. I think every time I make a wheel video, it's going to be a good one, then a bad one, then a good one, which means the next one I make is going to be good. So I have to pick a good franchise for that. Let me know in the comments down below what franchise, what universe you want me to figure out what my life is in like. I think that sentence makes sense. I'm sorry for exposing myself in this video as someone who's very bad with names, but it is what it is. And I'm also so sorry that I've only gotten two crows and that it was cast as a father figure and Jesper as part of my OTP with Pekka Rollins. I'm so sorry, Jesper. I owe you one for that. But yeah, leave a like if you like this video. Comment down below what universe you want me to do next. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell button so you get notifications every time I post a new video. I post videos just like this very frequently on my channel. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!